Beneath the blazing sky of the Gobi Desert, a land once ruled by nothing but wind and sand, China has ignited a second sun in the heart of the Earth. Millions of solar panels now stretch endlessly toward the horizon, forming a vast blue sea worth over 430 million USD, powerful enough to light up an entire city in the middle of the desert. From above, this colossal project looks like a mirror reflecting the planet's light, a symbol of China's ambition to conquer the era of clean energy. But what amazes the world even more is that even when night falls, this sun never truly sets. What has allowed China to make the desert glow and turn darkness itself into an eternal source of energy? Join Mandarin Tech to find out. Each year, more than 40 billion tons of CO2 are released into the atmosphere, driving global temperatures ever higher. In many regions, summer now exceeds 50 degrees, the earth cracks open, and worse, over 11 million tons of plastic waste continue to drift into the oceans, wrapping the planet in a suffocating plastic shell that never decomposes. As humanity faces the consequences of its own actions, China has chosen a different path, turning the scorching sunlight of the desert into a new source of life for the planet. From that vision, the Gobi Solar Power Plant was born, a symbol of the clean energy era. Spanning more than 70 square kilometers and generating 3 gigawatts of power, it can supply electricity to nearly 2 million households. Beyond cutting more than 5 million tons of CO2 emissions every year, the project also helps slow down desertification, transforming a barren wasteland into a living emblem of Earth's green revival. Building a sea of solar panels in the middle of the Gobi Desert was far from a simple task. More than 8,000 engineers and workers had to endure some of the harshest conditions on Earth. Daytime temperatures exceeding 55 degrees Celsius, sandstorms reaching 80 kilometers per hour, and ground that could sink 30 centimeters after just one windy season. The preparation began with leveling over 12 million tons of sand and gravel, using 520 horsepower bulldozers and GPS-controlled graders to create a stable foundation across an area equivalent to 10,000 football fields. The ground was then compacted with 25-ton vibrating rollers, reinforced with cement and fly ash, increasing its load-bearing capacity to 180 kilopascals. At the same time, 130 kilometers of internal roads were laid with crushed stone and strengthened using composite materials, allowing heavy trucks and construction equipment to move safely. At key pillar points, high-temperature-resistant reinforced concrete was poured to prevent subsidence and cracking caused by extreme temperature differences between day and night. Finally, when more than 2 million galvanized steel piles, each driven 2.5 meters deep into the ground, were in place, a solid structural framework, as stable as the foundation of a city, was ready to receive millions of gleaming mirrors of the sun. Once the steel foundations were secured, the Gobi Desert entered a breathtaking phase of awakening, transforming from a barren, wind-blown wasteland into a colossal machine designed to capture the power of the sun. Hundreds of 60-ton self-propelled cranes rose in unison, their steel arms moving gracefully as they lifted massive solar frames, each nearly the size of a small room. Next came convoys of trucks carrying materials and fleets of automated photovoltaic assembly robots working non-stop, all coordinated through satellite positioning systems and a central control hub deep in the desert. Engineers monitored every detail on touchscreen panels, ensuring each solar panel was installed with perfect alignment and precision. Every day, more than 5,000 panels were mounted and calibrated with an error margin of less than one millimeter, thanks to high-accuracy laser positioning and optical sensors. Each panel weighs about 35 kilograms, can withstand heat up to 150 degrees Celsius, resist corrosion, and endure winds of up to level 12 on the Beaufort scale. Meanwhile, hundreds of workers laid cables underground, forming a dense network that optimized power transmission. And when the first rays of sunlight hit millions of mirrored panels tilting in unison, the entire Gobi Desert lit up, marking the moment humanity's second sun was born. 
At the heart of the complex, hundreds of massive molten salt tanks are gradually lowered deep underground. Each tank stands nearly 20 meters tall, capable of holding over 1,000 tons of salt, and is wrapped in multiple layers of thermal insulation that can withstand temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius without deforming. Around them, thousands of high-pressure steel pipes are automatically welded by robots, forming an enormous closed-loop heat transfer network, the circulatory system of the entire energy storage facility. Above ground, inverter cabinets, central control modules, and transformer stations are installed inside fully insulated chambers, directly linked to more than 7 million photovoltaic panels across the desert. Each control unit is programmed to synchronize data in real time with the central operations hub, where thousands of wind, light, and temperature sensors are gradually activated, forming the first neural network of the Gobi Desert's vast energy brain. And then, when the colossal project came to life, it began to operate like a living organism, where sunlight and technology moved in perfect harmony. Every morning, more than 7 million solar panels rotate in unison toward the sun, reflecting light with near-perfect precision. Beneath the surface, thousands of sensors and control centers continuously collect data on light, temperature, wind, and radiation, automatically adjusting the tilt of each panel to maximize absorption, reaching an efficiency of over 2200 watts per square meter. The electricity generated is divided into two streams. One flows into the national power grid, while the other is directed to the molten salt storage system, where thousands of tons of nitrate salt are heated to 560 degrees Celsius to store energy for hours. When dusk falls, that stored heat is released, transferring energy to water inside high-pressure heat exchangers to create superheated steam that drives 100 megawatt turbines, keeping the power supply running through the night. Beneath the desert floor, a network of heat-resistant steel pipes functions like a circulatory system, distributing energy across the power complex. The entire system is monitored and automatically adjusted in real time, ensuring a stable electricity supply 24 hours a day, transforming the barren desert into the beating heart of a new era of clean energy. Beyond producing clean energy, the Gobi Solar Power Plant has brought about an unexpected ecological miracle in the middle of a barren desert. The heat generated by the photovoltaic system and underground pipelines has helped retain moisture in the sand, allowing wild grass and desert shrubs to gradually grow back. After just a few years, more than 60 square kilometers around the site have transformed from pale yellow to lush green, clear evidence of desertification control. However, as vegetation grew too quickly, sunlight absorption efficiency dropped by up to 18%, while the risk of wildfires increased, causing an estimated $20 million in annual losses. At first, workers used traditional mowing machines, but maintenance costs and the risk of equipment damage in the harsh desert winds were far too high. The surprising solution came from sheep. Over 300,000 sheep were released to graze freely throughout the solar fields, naturally trimming the grass without harming the panels. On average, 1,000 sheep can clear 1,000 solar modules in under 10 hours, saving millions of dollars in labor and maintenance costs each year. And so, amid the blazing sea of panels, the gentle sight of sheep grazing has become a living symbol of harmony between technology and nature. Amid the harsh winds and sand of the desert, millions of photovoltaic panels are quickly covered by dust and fine sand from fierce storms cutting their light absorption by up to 30% and causing power losses of hundreds of megawatts each day. Manual cleaning takes thousands of labor hours and often scratches the anti-reflective coating, resulting in millions of dollars in annual losses. At that point, specialized autonomous cleaning robots were developed for the hot, dry climate. Each robot weighs about 45 kilograms and moves along the panel frames using a gear-driven guide system. Equipped with soft rotating brushes, they can clean 2,000 square meters per hour without using water. Powered entirely by solar energy, they can self-charge, self-navigate, and operate on preset schedules. With costs only one-fifth that of manual methods, this tireless robotic fleet keeps the vast sea of panels across the Gobi Desert spotless, 
ensuring they shine brightly and operate efficiently under the relentless sun. Few would imagine that the material behind solar panels begins with something as simple as sand. Each grain contains up to 95% silica, which is refined at 700 years to produce pure silicon, the soul of photovoltaic cells. After multiple stages of filtering and purification, the silicon reaches 99% purity, then is drawn into single crystal ingots, sliced into thin 0.2 mm wafers, coated with anti-reflective layers and etched with microscopic circuits. These solar cells are then carefully assembled into complete panels, ready to capture sunlight and convert it into electricity. From silicon slices as thin as a strand of hair, the journey of turning sunlight into electricity begins. Inside sterile factories, silicon is purified with hydrogen and chlorine, then coated with a fine phosphorus layer to form positive and negative poles. Thousands of wafers enter a vacuum chamber where blue plasma etches millions of microcircuits just microns wide. A titanium oxide layer maximizes light absorption while tempered glass shields against heat and sand. Only cells exceeding 23% efficiency move on to awaken solar energy. After inspection, solar cells enter the most delicate stage, energy string welding. Inside the factory, robots pick up 0.2 mm thin cells and align them with less than 0.1 mm deviation. Automated arms use tin-coated copper wires heated to 250 to, to connect the positive and negative poles, forming strings of 60 to 72 cells. Each joint is checked by infrared cameras to ensure smooth current flow. Even a tiny crack can cut efficiency by 5%. This is where sunlight begins to take the form of electricity. Once the energy strings are finished, the entire factory moves into the module assembly stage, where robots perform every task with near-perfect precision. Each string is picked up and placed into the frame by robotic arms, aligned with laser guidance to form a seamless photovoltaic array. Optical sensors continuously monitor positioning, ensuring the spacing between cells never deviates by more than 0.1 millimeter. Under the cool blue glow of the automated production line, each module gradually takes shape, preparing to become the true energy heart of a solar panel. Before being permanently sealed, each solar panel undergoes a special inspection called the electroluminescence test, a process invisible to the naked eye. In a completely dark room, photovoltaic cells are charged with reverse current, emitting a faint purple glow beneath the glass. High-sensitivity cameras capture every frame, revealing cracks or microscopic defects thinner than a strand of hair. The data is then analyzed by error detection algorithms to eliminate substandard panels, ensuring that only the most flawless cells move forward to the module assembly stage. The factory falls silent, with only the steady hiss of vacuum pumps echoing through the room. This is the moment when all materials fuse into one, the true heart of the solar panel. Automated robots carefully place each layer. Tempered glass, EVA film, photovoltaic cells, protective sheet, and polymer base. Precisely aligned to the millimeter. The entire structure is then vacuum laminated at 150 degrees, where ultra-low pressure removes air bubbles and impurities. Under heat and pressure, the layers melt and bond into a single crystal clear module built to endure 25 years beneath the blazing desert sun. After passing inspection, the panels move to the framing area, where their final form takes shape. Automated robots attach lightweight aluminum frames using heat-resistant silicone, securing the glass edges and improving heat dissipation. These slim frames, only a few millimeters thick, can withstand winds up to 2,400 pascals and snow loads over 5,400 pascals. On the back, a sealed junction box with UV-resistant cables and epoxy coating ensures perfect insulation, with every connection tested at 1,000 volts for safety in extreme conditions. From the light inspection room, the panels enter their real trial by fire, proving they can survive harsh natural conditions. Each module is exposed to 1,000 WM tuning of light in over 85 degrees Celsius for hours, then sprayed with salt mist to test corrosion resistance, shaken to simulate sandstorms, and frozen at 40 degrees. 
Current, voltage, and efficiency are measured hundreds of times to detect any deviation. Only panels meeting IEC 61295 and IEC 617 your standards earn certification for global use. The packaging process is carried out with precision and care. Certified panels are stacked by automated robots, wrapped in anti-static film, and placed into custom wooden crates. Each package is labeled with a QR code containing full production and quality data. Finally, they're sealed and prepared for shipment around the world. From humble grains of sand to a vast solar power plant rising in the desert, China has proven that light can be controlled and the future can be built through human ingenuity. Join Mandarin Tech as we continue exploring the technological marvels shaping our world, where every ray of sunlight carries a story of humanity.